Most manufacturing people use standard time for scanning work orders on the shop floor. They are tracking employee hours, job status, and work in progress. But did you know you can scan inventory and materials right here in the same page? In other words, you can track both time and materials with barcodes. Let's go over to Home All Views and check out the Standard Time Inventory page. You'll like this. We're on the Standard Time Cloud site right now, showing some inventory items. If your shop floor operators are consuming inventory or materials or stock, this is the place to list them. Just use the green plus button to add new ones. Let's take a look at the properties for this inventory item. You'll notice properties for SKUs, quantity and stock, vendor, location, and other useful entries. Once you've added an inventory item, employees can immediately scan the name, SKU, or code. Scanning inventory reduces the quantity in stock. Pretty simple for the folks on the shop floor. And when the quantity in stock drops below your threshold, you get an email telling you to reorder. Standard Time also handles advanced things like bill of materials assemblies, which you build from discrete materials and place into stock just like any other inventory item. And employees scan bomb SKUs, the same as inventory items, to deduct from stock. Because bombs are built from individual items or sub-assemblies, you have a clear to build quantity, showing how many assemblies can be built at this time. How does Standard Time know? It's all based on the quantity in stock. But don't worry, most of this is optional. You can start with just a few inventory items, then build up. Or import your entire inventory list from a CSV file. In any case, Standard Time will support your inventory and warehouse management right alongside job tracking, work in progress, and employee time tracking. We got you covered. It's quick and easy to get started. Jump right in and give it a try.